Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I have some very different content from usual. Throughout the past couple of days I developed a tool that helps artists manage their visual library. You can see it here on the screen. Managing a visual library is something that is very important for many artists because we as artists have to produce content a lot from imagination. We don't always have um, the things that we need to make in 3D, for example, in front of us. So we use Google Images, for example, to research and find reference for our projects. However, there is a difference between random images that we find and really good reference. And as we only stumble every so every now and then over really good reference, uh, it would be good to keep track of these images and to collect them in a really nice library. So me struggling a lot with this um, and never really having a good solution for where to collect these images, I wanted to solve this issue once for all with a tag-based image management system, and so I developed this. Let me quickly show you what it does. Basically, uh, you have your library, and in your library here, you have all your pictures that you imported, and all these pictures are tagged. For example, if I click on this one, you see it's categorized as human, and as anatomy, and as proportions, whereas another one is in other categories. You can see pretty well like what, which is in which category. You can also select multiple and kind of get a picture of what, where everything is. And you can also, the other way around, you know, filter it um, with these tags. If you click on human, well, all of them are tagged as human, so nothing will change much. But let's say we only want to look for anatomical pictures and see here you have your selection. Click on proportions, you get only these. Um, and maybe you want to see something that is um, having proportions, but also anatomy. So there's, for example, uh, an example for a search with two tags. And so you can very quickly find your content based on tags that you set up. And now, how do you get pictures in in first place? You do that with this import section. On the desktop, for example, I don't have any pictures currently, but um, I could be adding an import folder here. So uh, here in desktop, I have an image folder with some demo pictures. It is quickly added here to my import section. And here we can now choose whatever we want. For example, um, this picture, let's say it seems interesting to us. So we tag it as, well, it belongs to human. And it also is simplified and also has something to do with anatomy and uh, 3D. So that's it. Now, whenever we search for 3D, for example, it will come up in our 3D section and so on. And this system really allows artists to very efficiently collect their images because you see how I add a desktop here. You know, uh, I'll get to that later. Uh, let me open a browser. Um, so what happens is you browse around on the internet and you find some pictures that you really like. Um, it is a hassle to you know click on them, save as, and to find the the folder and things like that. But see, you can just drop them on the on the desktop really. Just go and select the pictures that you like the most. Let's say you like this arm a lot. So we're getting this one too. Um, so, so we have some pictures now. Now let's go back to our, to our program, click on desktop to refresh it, and here you have your new pictures. And these are probably to be categorized as human and 3D, and maybe that's about it. And here they are imported. And so you can always kind of separate your browsing session. You know, you find something while doing something differently. Just drop it on the desktop for now. And later on, you can go and organize your pictures. So this is pretty much it. This is what I've been working on. It's, it's a really useful little tool. And if it was developed properly, uh, it would be um, a great solution. I kind of summarize it very quickly on this slide. Uh, what is it? A tag-based tool for artists to manage their visual library. Because uh, a visual library can contain many thousand pictures with various objects on them and the contents need to be managed uh, so that they are easily accessible when needed. And the way this tool achieves it is by uh, lowering the hurdles um, to a minimum so that artists can very easily add and manage their, their tools. Now, unfortunately, 
um, this tool is not like finished yet. I'm not completely done developing it. It still has uh, some some bugs in it, and and I would love to hear here like now that I have at least a showable version of it from you guys what you think about it. So uh, I actually created a survey which I'm going to link in the description. And so for those of you who are interested in this tool anyways, so I don't want to take too much time from any one of you, uh, if you could click the link in the description of this video and take a look at this very quick survey, it just has a few multiple choice question. Um, that would help me out a lot. You can tell me through this survey uh, your current situation about dealing with a, with an image library um, and give your quick opinion about this tool. And also I'm looking for people who could help me develop this tool. So if you're a programmer or if you just want to kind of contribute as a tester or if you're a designer good at managing things or promoting things, definitely let me know in here. Um, I don't think I have the power by myself to finish this tool to the level that I think would all like to see it be at. And otherwise, just let me know if you think this is a good idea, a useful idea. There is the argument, you know, you have folders, uh, there's other tools. Why make it separate tool that does it individually? So that's pretty much it. Um, one last thing that I want to show you, actually, I just remembered about it. Um, this this tool saves the pictures to a certain location which you specify at the moment it's just like you go to preferences and you select a folder where you where you want to put your pictures at and if i quickly show you this folder uh, you can see that um the way this this is organized is that uh, if you look at the file name you get the original file name a date and the tags in the file name which makes it really universal that means that if you ever decide to, you know, switch applications, uh, it is not too big of a deal because you can just, you know, move these files into a different, into a different folder and maybe use some scripts to convert the tags and make it compatible with a different software. So, so your whole data is very easily accessible. That's one of the benefits. And the other one is imagine you put this folder into your Google Drive or Dropbox. That way, it is accessible from any other machine as well that you use. So with this software running on different machines, you could also have your visual library across multiple uh, computers, which is another thing that artists probably really need. So sorry for taking a bit more of your time there, but that was just a little bit more um, explanation about, about this tool. So yeah, this is, uh, this is this visual library tool that I'm currently developing. I really hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about this and I hope that it applies to you because I would love to see many people using something like this. Just let me know whatever you think. If you don't have the time to fill out the survey, at least leave a comment. And I'm definitely look looking forward to hearing from you and I'll let you know about the responses uh, maybe next week or so. All right, talk to you soon then and have a good day.